If you love theme parks, attractions, events, anything fun, you've landed on the right channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and join me now for my next journey. Hey guys, it's Shane from Jake's Journeys. I'm back today at Paradise Country Farm Experience here in the Gold Coast. Now it's gonna be a big day today. Uh, we're here nice and early for the buffet breakfast. So that's on between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., $25 per person. So we're gonna check that out and have a beautiful breakfast to start the day. Uh, then we're gonna experience Paradise Country and everything it has to offer and show you what it's all about. And then we're even gonna stay and come back for the buffet dinner, which is now back on here on Friday and Saturday nights at Paradise Country as well. So we're gonna do all that today and bring you along as well. So let's go now and check it out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. Now Paradise Country is located basically behind Movie World or I, I suppose between Wet n Wild and Movie World and there's a, a road that comes up past the studios you get right to the end and there's plenty of parking down through here uh, and there's also parking at the top here. Now it is a bit of a walk uh, down to Paradise Country itself it's, a, it's about a five minute walk um, it's pretty good though it's sealed uh, all the way so it's okay for like uh, wheelchair access or prams that kind of thing so that's all good. Anyway, we're gonna walk down there now and uh, head down to the park. And it feels like love. Tell me if I'm wrong, cause it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so we're at the farmhouse restaurant and so they've got um, coffee here. You can, I think they do barista coffee as well if you pay extra a bit. Um, condiments here. Obviously there's a toaster so you can grab some toast. Uh, this is sort of where there's the cold stuff. So you've got some fruit and some uh, little muffins there. And there's also some cereals you can get as well. And then there's the hot breakfast, which is what I'm looking forward to the most. So you've got croissants, tomatoes, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausages, hash browns, mushrooms, and baked beans. And then there's all your spreads and things as well. So it's pretty awesome for $25 and it's buffet. So this is definitely worth doing. Even if you're not staying here, we're not staying here. You can stay up here but we're just locals and just come to enjoy the buffet breakfast. And you just book online and it's between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. And you can also get fresh juice as well here, which is wonderful. All right, I'm gonna grab some hot food and check it out. All right, so I've got myself a selection of uh, hot food. So I've got bean, tomato, bacon, scrambled eggs and hash browns not really a mushroom uh, fan myself looks really awesome it's gonna dig in and something that's pretty cool while you're having your breakfast is they got the marmoset monkeys and they're just in over here in the actual restaurant and they're actually feeding them as well so whilst you're having your breakfast uh, you can check out them feeding the monkeys as well so that's something else you can do here at the paradise country breakfast Hey, check out the cool uh, little vessel they give you to drink your juice out of. It's almost like a little milk bottle. Quite appropriate for a uh, farm stay experience. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Something different, really awesome. I definitely enjoyed the breakfast. Uh, everything was just right, beautiful. Hey guys, so uh, we just finished the buffet breakfast here at Paradise Country. And I tell you what, it is definitely worth it if you're coming to the Gold Coast, or even if you're a local like us, um, $25 for a buffet breakfast, Saturdays and Sundays, you just need to book online 
and go in there and check it out. It's a, it's a basic breakfast as you saw, but it covers off all the hot foods, uh, a few extra things there as well, cereals, toast, little muffins, fruit, it's all you need. All right, so we actually have to exit the park because uh, the buffet breakfast finishes at nine. The park doesn't open until 10. Uh, so we're gonna just hang about and pop back for the opening at 10 a.m. All right, it's about 10 to 10. So we're back now to head into the park and uh, I'm meeting a friend here today. So I'll just uh, go and see if, uh, if he's arrived. So we made it into the park and I'm catching up with Adrian again today. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here to check out Paradise Country. It's actually your first visit here today, is yeah, that right? It is. It's good. It's been nice so far. It's like yeah, you know, being on a farm. So it is really nice. It is, isn't it? If you haven't been here before, it is even though it's at the sort of the back of movie world, you actually feel like you are worlds away from civilization. You feel like you are actually out in the country. Such a beautiful place. Yeah, definitely. But um, we're gonna show you around, check out some of the uh, things to do here. First stop though. Of course there's coffee, let's go and get one. So the Burrow Cafe is right next to the Meerkats, also next to the Sharing Shed. How they do milkshakes, churros, ice cream, slushies, coffees. Hey guys, I just want to give a really big shout out to Marsha and Ellie Watson, Colleen DeJure, Trevor Howe and also a really big special shout out to Michael and Maya Lee um, and thank you all for buying me coffees I really appreciate it it really helps support my channel it is definitely greatly appreciated and if anyone else out there would also like to support my channel just like they did the link is in the description below it's also on the screen now by buying me coffees helps me bring videos just like this straight to you Hey guys, so this is the new meerkat enclosure. Now they were just building this last time I was here. They were in a temporary enclosure at the back of the park last time we were here. This is a much nicer enclosure, looking really cool. So great space for these little meerkats. They do have experiences you can do. I think it's $60 if you want to do a meerkat experience or an encounter with them in here. Um, so you just need to go online and book that. Or I think you probably can book that at guest services here at the, uh, at the park as well. But something cool to do here at Paradise Country. There's quite a massive uh, area for the for the meerkats, and it's located right next to, uh, I guess, the sharing shed uh, at the back of the park. saw the uh, Billy T uh, balling uh, show and then we all got to try some actual uh, bush tea afterwards and I'll tell you what it's really good really hot really tasty welcome to Paradise Country's Australian Stock Horse Challenge my name is Teal and out with me today I've brought one of my very good friends and this here is Charlie Charlie is an Australian stock horse now our Australian stock horses horses were especially bred for our harsh Australian conditions and they're a hardy breed known for endurance, agility, and much like Charlie here, they're wonderful, easy going, easy to work with temperament. Oh geez, speaking of trouble, 
G'day guys! So that was worth having a look at. Australian stockman horse. That was pretty good. Uh, Billy T boy, we got to try the Billy T, and that was it's quite nice, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, tea is tea. Could have used a bit of milk, but yeah. it was still nice. Though. Bush tea, yeah, it's all good. Would have, would have been nice to try some damper. Yeah, they didn't give us any damper, but anyway, we're gonna see uh, see if Sean the sheep's here today. What do you reckon? You reckon he is? Yeah. Go suss it out. Let's go find Sean the sheep. What the? How did he get his hands on some Jags Journeys merch? <laughs> Unreal. Hey guys, there's a really cool kids playground here. The pigs playground. Heaps of shade as well, which is really awesome obviously because it's very sunny and hot here. That's a really cool playground area. So it's something for the little ease to do as well. Hey guys, so you can actually meet the Sean the Sheep characters here. Uh, but they also have a show, actually it's a couple of shows a day, so we're going to check that out now. So that kids show is uh, pretty cool, really good for more for the little kids to watch. Uh, we enjoyed it anyway, make sure you check that one out too. I do also have lorikeet feeding here as well, uh, 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock, just up here by this big tree. Obviously you can see here they put out the little place with, normally they put like some kind of mixture in there, like a honey type of mixture um, there. So uh, 11 and 2, we can actually hear some of the lorikeets, there's actually some up in the tree, but they do come flocking here at those two times. And they do have the free tractor rides that pretty much just do a loop or a circuit around the park um, that sort of runs uh, throughout the day. Now they also have dingoes here at Paradise Country as well. So um, you can check them out in the enclosure uh, across to the left here and here. A lot of the time they're sleeping. I can spot a couple. We'll see if we can zoom in on them. Now guys, this one here is just a little, essentially just a rest area for um, families with probably younger kids. Just a little nice cool place to just chill, relax, and yeah, I guess get out of the sun for a little bit. Got a nice little space. Now, hey guys, if you weren't aware, at the back of Paradise Country, they do actually have a farm stay available here. Now these, um, essentially a glamping tents that you can see here um, and they're really decked out inside they have little balconies and double bed and everything they're really really amazing so if you're into glamping these are awesome now you can also put your own tent up here there is tent sites uh, and you can also put motorhome site these motorhome sites here as well um, get online and check it out all the pricing is on there I haven't uh, haven't got that pricing specifically on me but it uh, definitely worth checking out because they also do things here in the park in the morning early morning like collecting the eggs there's also i think milking of the cows as well they also do at night time i think marshmallow um, around the campfire and stories and things so there's lots of cool things going on here again check it out online it's all the information's on there but farm stay at paradise country and obviously you got access to the restaurant for dinner and breakfast as well so in the old meerkat enclosure is now the wombats and I don't think there's any here today, we haven't been able to spot any, but uh, this is where you'll find the wombats at the back of the park. Now, hey guys, there is a photo center here. Uh, you can do photos with animals in here, so you've got 
koala photos and also snake photos in here as well so koalas is 10 15 10 45 2 o'clock and 2 30 and the snake photos are 12 o'clock and 12 30 all right so you just head in here to the photo center book it at the counter and they'll take care of you So this is where you get your photos of the koalas or the snakes. So they've got backdrops in here and you just queue up over there and you pay for it all here at the photo center and retail store. All right, so we're gonna go and see if we can, so hi to Sean the sheep. Let's go and see if we can check them out. Cool, so we actually we actually got to meet Sean the Sheep and was it Blitzer? Blitzer? I think so, yeah. The dog out, from yeah. Sean the Sheep as well. So we managed to get photos as well, which is pretty cool. So uh, we might go and look at the kangaroos. Yeah. Maybe we'll go check out some of the walkthrough. Yeah, we'll go check out some of the animals. Let's go and have a look. Alright, so you're walking through the photo center to the wildlife walkabout. So this is where you'll see all the kangaroos. I think they've got Tasmanian devils down here as well and probably some more koalas. Pretty sure that one is just asleep, although it might look otherwise. No, it's breathing, it's fine. That's good. That's good. So this area here, you're not allowed in this part. This is where they go just to relax uh, for a while and to get some shade and that sort of thing. But when they hop out of this area, they'll be in amongst where you can walk and pat them as well. They're pretty relaxed here. It is pretty hot today uh, for winter. This one here is pretty relaxed. It's just Sleeping against the pole there. Hey buddy. <laughs> He's having a nightmare of some, some bloke patting him. <laughs> now these ones are pretty used to people, so you can pat them here at Paradise Country. Uh, like any animal though, obviously just nice and gently. Soft, They're really nice. Yeah. So they do have Tasmanian devil here, so we might pop in and have a look. Obviously they're nocturnal, so there's an inside area, a dark area. We'll see if we can see a Tasmanian devil. Yeah. Now I can't actually see the Tasmanian devil, but it might be in there, it might not be. Yeah, we couldn't see the Tasmanian uh, devil. Probably hiding in its uh, little hutch there or something like that, but uh, generally you can see them running around uh, when you come here to the um, animal area. Now this is quite a large area that you can walk around and like I said before the kangaroos generally just lazing around, you can pat them. Now this part here they actually have emus, it's actually one down here now with some people so let's see if we can get close to the emu. Now these are one thing you don't want to get too friendly with. They're not overly friendly from what I hear. Would that be fair to say? Yep. Yep. <laughs> There wasn't too many uh, baby animals in the nursery at the moment. Um, oh, you're kidding. There's goats running around here. And they even have a cool little splash zone here for kids. Sean's Scraps and Taps. Which is pretty cool just a little water squirty place kids can just 
splash around in a little bit of water there and uh, a little bit of a cool down as well. This end of the park is actually pretty hot. It's pretty cool. So there's also a paid experience you can do here, uh, opal mining. This is currently not open, so uh, you do just have to sort of check on the day if it is open. Uh, we did feature this on one of our other videos. Basically, uh, you head in there, they give you some glasses and a little pick. Uh, you go into the wall, tap away, and you get out your a bit of clay, and then you tap into it, and you can essentially find opals. Uh, and you do that on the table there. So it's pretty cool. It's a little cool little bit of an experience for the kids. Um, but yeah, hopefully, probably the holidays, this will be reopened again, no doubt. Probably the crowds aren't too big today, although it is actually quite a busy day here today. I was quite surprised. And if this is something you're wanting to do when you're here, you just head out to the gift store at the main building and you can purchase for this attraction. Okay guys, I ordered here at the farmhouse restaurant. Yep, we're back again in here. Um, it's just a, a menu, so for lunch, it's not a buffet like the breakfast and dinner. So um, i got the Wagyu burger here. Um, it's got like beetroot on it. Um, it's got pineapple, cheese, lettuce. Look at this, look at that, that's that is awesome. Decent amount of chips as well. Now it is a Wagyu beef burger, so it isn't just a cheap burger. This this is a $24 meal. Uh, so burger and chips, $24. Drinks are extra. Um, but also here, they, they have a wide range of foods. In fact, you can also buy steaks and things as well. So um, definitely check out the menu when you're here and definitely try the food. Now Adrian's just going to get his meal, so we'll check out what he got. And the restaurant is definitely much, much busier uh, today for lunch uh, than it was for breakfast. Um, obviously this is the park crowds today versus just for breakfast this morning. So yeah, good to see a decent amount of people here. All right, Adrian got the uh, hot dog. So now what is that? What's that called? The loaded dog. It's the loaded dog. Yeah, you got strips of bacon, cheese. Wow. Cabana by the looks of it. Grilled hot dog. Look at, look at that. Bacon and cheese and wow. Everything on there. So that is cool. Comes with chips as well. And I'm on, bucks. how much? Twenty-two dollars. And you look at the size of that hot dog. Like it's a decent. It's a cabana, yeah. I think. Looks like, yeah. Oh yeah, decent dog too. Hey guys, so this is another paid attraction you can do here at Paradise Country. So it's gold and gemstone panning, which is really cool. So you go into the gift shop, purchase your bag of sand, which also has potentially some gold, silver, or gemstones, and then you come out here to the gold panning. It's two sides, and pretty much what you do is you put your bag of sand into the little shaker and sieve it through the water and hopefully you'll find some of these gemstones in amongst your sand. Now we have done the gold panning before, last time we were here. I won't be doing it today, but it's definitely worth doing. It's a lot of fun, especially for the kids. And when they do find a little bit of gold in there or silver, or any of the awesome gemstones, it's pretty cool and uh, just a great experience. And it's only just $10 to get your bag of sand and gemstones to try out the gold panning attraction here at Paradise Country. Now they also do pony rides up here at Paradise Country. Uh, they're only between 12.30 and 2.30. And again, pay for that in the, uh, I think it's a gift store. Uh, definitely something for the kids to do, something extra to do here at Paradise Country. I tell you what, you come on a day like today and you'll have heaps of fun. All right, so Adrian and I have had a really good look around Paradise Country today and uh, we had an awesome lunch up here. What was your thoughts? It's your first visit here today, so yeah. what do you think? It's good. It's nice to see the animals here and the, the shows, the horse show and that that's happening. Yeah, actually, it was pretty cool. They got a couple of little shows. Definitely check those out. Um, it's online, which um, what time the shows are on. 
I think there's like three shows we saw. Yeah. One, two, yeah, three, four different shows that we saw today. Um, so definitely check them out. They're a bit different from obviously any other park as well. Yeah. And you've got the characters from Shaun the Sheep do their yeah. appearance and you get photos with them as well. So. Adrian couldn't wait to see the characters from Shaun the Sheep, yeah. um, so I had to take him to see them. Yeah. So, uh... I still love watching that show. <laughs> I still do. I still do too. Yeah. Actually, it is a really good show, yeah. I must admit. It is hilarious. But anyway, um, look, it's a great day out, and especially on a day like today, it's, yeah. you actually feel like you are in the country out here, even though we're just in behind Movie World uh, and Wet n Wild. So. Um, if you've got a Village One pass, uh, make sure you use that pass and get a, get over here to Paradise Country. It's just a really cool day out. Yeah, yeah. Good. Cool. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video today and uh, don't forget to um, obviously uh, give us a like. Um, but I'm actually coming back tonight for the buffet dinner uh, here at the uh, farmhouse restaurant. So yeah, we've uh, obviously had a buffet breakfast this morning. Uh, Adrian and I had lunch today here and again, we couldn't fault food at all. No. It's very, very nice. It's beautiful. Um, so I'm going to head back tonight and uh, show you guys the, the buffet dinner here at Paradise Country Gold Coast. Hey guys, so we decided to come back for dinner because the buffet dinner is actually now back at Paradise Country. So it's $30 for adults, it's $18 for kids from 3 to 16 years old. So we're going to go and check out the buffet dinner here at Paradise Country. Let's go check it out. So let's check out the buffet. It looks amazing. Now there's no markers here, so um, I think that one there is fish. There, and you got chips and chicken and pork and probably beef, potatoes, vegetables, pastas and rice. And there's obviously salads as well. Different kinds of salads, looking very nice. And the desserts area, just pretty much nice dessert treats there. Uh, I guess they're sort of snack size or bite size, which is really good. And then there's some um, toppings there. And scoop ice cream as well. Hey, well we actually tried everything on the buffet and the, um, the beef, the roast beef was really, really tender absolutely delicious in fact everything we ate was um, in fact we just about all cleaned up our all our plates um, so again we had a bit of everything and everything was really really delicious we would definitely recommend coming here to the uh, buffet uh, now that it's back open again I'm pretty sure it's uh, at this point in time Friday and Saturday nights um, from five o'clock to I think nine o'clock so um, hop on their website and check it out it is a really nice enjoyable venue as well it's really comfortable Nice lighting and yeah, just really relaxed. Hey guys, by the way, if you are here for a special occasion, uh, like a birthday or something, just let them know they'll actually put um, little um, toppers on the tables uh, for happy birthday, for example, which is a, just a really nice touch if you are coming to uh, have a special celebrationary uh, dinner here at the Paradise Country Farmhouse Restaurant. So if there is a large group of you, there is actually really long tables here as well. So these tables, looks like they'd seat about 10 or 12 people each. So there's absolutely plenty of room here at the restaurant. And also there's like an annex part, which is actually where we're sitting out, sort of just to the side there. It's fully covered in uh, at night, um, which is lovely. Not very busy here tonight because it is, I guess there's people that are here for farm stay, uh, here for dinner. Um, and of course they've just started back doing the buffets on a Friday, Saturday night. So um, yeah, if you see the video, I uh, would definitely recommend coming here. Have a look online, check it out. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Hey 
And they also have a water station here uh, at the restaurant as well, which is really cool. And that's uh, free as well. So that's pretty cool. If you're loving our video content, we do things like theme parks, attractions, events, uh, anything fun, you've definitely landed on the right channel. Now today was a pretty big day here at Paradise Country. We were here for the buffet breakfast in the morning, which was awesome, we'd highly recommend that. Um, Paradise Country is a wonderful park to visit. Uh, you can get in with your uh, Village One Pass uh, at Village Roadshow theme parks, which is wonderful. Um, and yeah, heaps to see and do at the park here. Uh, if you're interested in farm stay, they have that behind as well. Get online, check out the details for that. And once again, we stayed for the uh, buffet dinner, which is now back on here at Paradise Country, Friday, Saturday nights, $30 for adults, $18 for uh, kids under 16 or three to 16. Um, great range of food. Everything was absolutely delicious. So again, we highly recommend uh, coming to Paradise Country. It's more than just a, a quick park to visit. As I say, there's the, the buffet breakfast and you can do the koala photos as well as a different option. And there's also other attractions to do um, in park as well, some paid attractions also and experiences. So all in all, definitely come to Paradise Country. If you haven't been, we highly recommend coming down, checking it out. Anyway guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, and give our video a thumbs up if you did like our video today. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next journey.